Welcome to a Star Citizen's Hardware Guide. I am Subliminal and today we will be discussing Game Glass. This guide will be broken down into three parts. This is part one where we'll discuss what Game Glass is, explain what you get for free and why I think every Star Citizen should be using it, show exactly what Glass Pass offers and your pricing options, give my recommendations on hardware, and what upcoming features I'm most excited about. Part two will be a tutorial on how you can create your own custom shard. And part three will be a full review of both the officially licensed Star Citizen shards and Game Glass as a product itself. Full disclosure, the first two videos are sponsored. This month's ship giveaway is the overpriced Cuddy Steel. But not to worry, this one's free. Stay tuned to the end to learn how to enter. For those of you who don't know, let me briefly explain what Game Glass is. At its core, Game Glass is an application that runs on your phone or tablet and displays different screens of buttons. Each screen can have different buttons, layouts, and actions. Game Glass calls each of these screens a shard. Each shard features buttons that, when pressed, relays the selected keybind to your game. That's any game, not just Star Citizen. And it works instantly, like in real time. Game Glass currently offers seven officially licensed shards for Star Citizen. There's Pilot, Avionics, Combat, Mining, Social, Vehicles, and EVA. We'll talk more about these in a later video where I review Game Glass and these shards. And if these pre-built shards aren't to your liking, you can make your very own custom shards in the Forge. I'll even step you through creating your very own custom shard in part two of this series. Here is one I made. You can even share them with your friends or even publish them to the marketplace for all citizens to use. If you'd like to try mine, after this video, check the link in the description to my shard on the Game Glass Marketplace. Here you can add my shard to your very own library. And that's it. It's a very simple solution to essentially create your very own MFD in the real world with tangibility and immersion. It is my opinion that every Star Citizen should be using Game Glass in some capacity because what it offers for free is very generous. You get two free shard slots. This can include your own custom shards, a community made shard from the marketplace, or the official pilot shard. The pilot shard, by the way, doesn't actually count towards your two free slots. So for example, you can have access to the included pilot shard as well as my custom shard and a custom shard of your own. You can even program the pilot shard's auxiliary shard buttons to take you directly from this shard to mine and yours. Stay tuned to my Forge tutorial to learn how. Free accounts also get access to a limited selection of buttons and styles seen here for use in the Forge. Speaking of the Forge, a free account also gives you the ability to import your friend's custom created shards using their shard ID, as well as being able to browse and add community shards to your library with a single click. Before we move on to what is offered for paid users, let's talk about the free-ish, or your non-monthly subscription options. If you head over to the marketplace and refine by premium, you get seven shards. The pilot one is free, avionics will set you back $7, combat $7 as well, social $3, vehicle $3, EVA $4, and mining $5. Buying these means that they are yours forever without paying a monthly subscription, and any updates to it are included for free as well. One shard I recommend in particular if you would like to purchase the shard outright is the Combat Shard. Alpha 314 included the addition of capacitors. And let me just say, having the ability to fine tune your power management on the fly is invaluable. Between this and an old useless cell phone, that's $7 well spent. Well, a little less if you use code subliminal at checkout. If you have any questions about Game Glass, feel free to ask me live on Twitch or in the channel Discord. Now that we know what is available for free, let's discuss what Glass Pass offers. First, that two shard limit is gone. You can now have unlimited shards, including every premium shard, as soon as they're released. So when Salvage Tier 0 comes in in soon TM, you will get included access to that shard as soon as it releases. This also includes unlimited custom shards or marketplace shards. GlassPass subscribers also get access to the entire library of custom buttons, switches, toggles, and dials for maximum customizability, and the newly announced hero components for quantum capacitors, shield distribution, and power management. 
You also get access to powerful upcoming features that we will discuss in more detail later in this video. GlassPass members also have the ability to share their shards to the community via the marketplace or in private via a shard ID. So to clarify, free accounts can acquire custom shards from friends or from the marketplace, but GlassPass is required if you want to share your own custom shards to your friends or the marketplace. And finally, priority support if needed. As far as pricing, $3.59 per month is very reasonable, and you can save 20% by paying for 12 months in advance. Either way, make sure you use code SUBLIMINAL to get an additional 5% off. It saves you a couple bucks and helps support the channel. Now that we know what Game Glass offers, let's talk about my recommendations for hardware I think you should use. We'll start first with what's free. My first recommendation would be any old Android or iOS device that you have lying around the house. Because at its core, what you interface with is a website Game Glass can run on a potato. Okay, maybe not a potato, but your kid's old Amazon Fire tablet or an old phone. Even that one with the broken screen, as long as you still have touch. Basically, any touchscreen device that runs a supported version of Android, iOS, or Amazon App Store. It should be noted that although Game Glass can run on almost anything, the fastest and more modern devices will have a smoother experience. Game Glass made an official video comparing various tablets and their response times. Check it out if you need to. Regardless, before you buy a new device, I recommend trying older ones. My low spec devices are certainly tolerable, although not ideal. Of course, if you already have an Android or iOS tablet with an 8 inch screen or larger, that screen would be better. And if for some reason those won't work, just visit app.gameglass.gg to run it on a web browser. For a full list of support requirements, check out the link in the description. Now that we have the budget savvy covered, let's talk about the only line of devices I recommend actually purchasing for Game Glass. That's an Amazon Fire tablet. I chose Amazon Fire tablets because they are cheap and just work. Sure, they are not the best in terms of specs, but 32 gigabytes of storage, three to four gigabytes of RAM is more than enough for running Game Glass. At the time of writing this script, prices run from just $89 for an eight inch up to $200 for the 10 inch Pro without lock screen ads. These prices vary depending on the screen size, storage, what accessories you might bundle with it, or whether or not it has ads on the lock screen. And if you're patient and budget savvy, these can go on sale during Black Friday and the holidays. The only Fire tablets I do not recommend are the kids' versions. They're full of unnecessary parental locks and bloatware. Plus, I'm pretty sure the CPUs are the worst bin CPUs they could find. However, even with these issues, Game Glass runs on it flawlessly. It will just be a headache if you do decide to use it for more than Game Glass at some point. My personal tablet that I purchased was the Fire HD 10 inch plus. The extra screen real estate makes the buttons larger or allows more room for more buttons. It also comes with an extra gigabyte of RAM and wireless charging. Just in case I plan to use it as an e-reader, write scripts on the toilet, or use it for media and gaming while on the go. Speaking of gaming on the go, Microsoft's PC Game Pass allows for cloud gaming with a compatible controller connected. Here I'm playing Forza Horizon 5 from the cloud using an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. Now, if you aren't a fan of the Amazon Fire experience, I have found a way to make the Fire tablet more of an original Android experience using an app called Fire Toolbox. I've even removed those annoying lock screen ads. I have links to this tool and a video guide from ETA Prime in the description. Also in the description, you will find affiliate links to my recommended Fire tablets. These links do support the channel at no extra cost to you. Let's talk about some features coming pretty soon to Game Glass that I'm very excited about. The first is Show Hide Logic. This is really cool. You can use a button to show or hide other buttons. To best explain how powerful this is, I'll show you the premium combat shard. At the bottom, in the operator modes, you can swap between missile and turret modes. And when this happens, the buttons below change. This is great for keeping a shard minimal without the need to create a separate shard for a lesser use function like what I used to do for my old turret shard. Something else I'm excited for are custom sound effects. Something I like to do is to turn game glass into my own soundboard. And finally, iframes. If you don't know what an iframe is, I got you. An iframe lets you embed a website into another website. Basically, this will allow you to check the verse finder, plan a trade route using Galog.co, or build a loadout on Urkel.games without ever leaving your shard. 
essentially bringing these fan-created companion sites to your fingertips in an immersive way that makes it almost part of the game. These are just a few of my favorite upcoming features. Be sure to check their roadmap for a full list of those upcoming features. Now I'd like to spend this time to talk about features that I would like to see from Game Glass that come from my own imagination and what I think could be possible in the future. First, as someone who live streams regularly, why can't this eventually be a direct competitor to the Elgato Stream Deck? This could be a service for gamers, live streamers, and even content creators who want hotkeys for certain programs. Then there's the glaring elephant in the room. When can I request landing from Game Glass? Well, there are two possible ways I can see this happening. Game Glass can allow coordinate mouse clicking. This would let Game Glass click on an area on your screen. So for example, you could set an action to tap F11, then click the coordinates of whatever is on top of your friends list and finally tap F11 again to close out your Moby Glass. Now, this can have some issues, like if you activate this while you're not close enough proximity to a space station, or what if the order of these isn't correct and it calls the wrong contact? Luckily, I don't think that this is the route Game Glass nor CIG are going to go. The other option is, of course, API-level access to Star Citizen. This would mean Star Citizen would have to actually develop a way for Game Glass to communicate directly with the game. This is actually something that CIG has talked about in the past, but like a lot of talk, it has not yet come to fruition. I know for certain that Game Glass would welcome the opportunity, but the ball is in CIG's court. After all, their elite dangerous shard is able to access an XML log so that they can relay ship information in real time. While we're talking about API level access, what about plotting a course via the star map in Game Glass? How about a Moby Glass app that would negate having to use your mouse to do it in game? Rather, you interact how your character would actually interact with it if you were in the game. Unfortunately, we will have to wait for CIG to develop something like this. One good sign we have is that these new shards are officially licensed, meaning that CIG and Game Glass are in communication with one another. And I can say that after speaking with the guys from Game Glass, they would be more than willing to add the features necessary for me to make my dreams of an auxiliary Moby Glass come true if the tools were there. So like many features, stay tuned to the roadmap for when the features like API support are coming. I hope you've enjoyed this Game Glass guide. This month's ship giveaway is the Drake Cutlass Steel. There are 10 ways to enter, each giving you more points and a greater chance to win. To enter, just visit subliminal.gg giveaway. Pro tip, the Redeem Twitch channel point rewards can be done once per live stream. If you enjoy my channel, there are so many ways to support it, ranging from free options like Prime Gaming subscriptions and sending Alpha UEC in the verse, sub club subscriptions, merch, to more generous forms of support. Head over to subliminal.gg to learn how. Your support in all forms makes this channel possible. Even your viewership liking and subscribing goes a long way.